Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David in Arc. Today we are taking a look at a new mod from Crash Hard. This is the Crash Hard Explosive Barrels, and I thought I'd do something a little different um, today. I'm gonna actually just not uh, edit the video. I'm we're just gonna, I'm gonna show you the raw footage um, because I want you to see just how volatile and crazy this mod is. So I'm um, in the uh, world editor. Basically, uh, I did uh, shift C to free cam, hit F11 to get into the editor, J to freeze the physics. That let me ooh, move things around. <laughs> I thought, honestly, I thought that was going to explode. Oh my goodness. All right. So this is the yellow barrel and it is highly, highly volatile. I'm not sure how far we're going to get. Oh, oh! I thought for sure that was going to set it off. I I'm telling you, it takes very little. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, there we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> Did you see that? I barely tapped the curb. And sure enough, that barrel exploded, tearing the back of the truck to pieces. Oh, my gosh. And there are actually several different barrels that come with the mod. Of course, as always, I'll have a link to the mod down in the description below. But, oh, just look at that destruction. Oh, oh that's not where I thought it was going to reset. All right, if I pick this up, let me just try this in-game using the node grabber and move over here. Oh, all right, let me move. Come on. There we go. Oh, oh. holy cow. Okay. <laughs> no damage to the truck, but the uh, barrel absolutely exploded. What the heck? That was crazy. Look at there. <clears throat> I have no idea what the camera is attached to, but it was flying. All right. Gently. Actually. Oh. <laughs> All right. So I can set it down and it will absolutely explode. All right. So I have an idea. What if we were to uh, go to the part of the ramp right before we head off the ramp and we put the barrel right here at the end. Now, I don't know what's going to happen if I, oh yeah, if I try to spawn in that barrel there, huh? Okay. Let me see if we can just use the reset key. Oh, oh there we go. All right. So I've got it reset here. I wonder, uh, can I move it gently, gently, oh, oh, oh man, as soon as you let go, this thing is so crazy explosive. All right, I do have it reset though. Now, let me see what happens if I clone, oh brother, here we go, oh, whoa. Okay, once again, no idea what the camera is attached to, but we are heading up into space. That is crazy. Actually, we're starting to come back down again. Oh, look at that. That is so crazy. Okay, so reset is not going to work. So I'm going to have to freeze the physics. And uh, all right, let's see if we just spawn this in up here. By the way, that's the F7 key. You can hit F7 when you're in free cam and it should uh, spawn whatever it is that you're currently focused on. Okay. All right. I think if we slow, let's slow the camera down and I know it's going to explode as soon as that hits, <laughs> but I'm going to update the home. Oh, look at that. Super slow-mo watching the barrel explode. It separates into four pieces plus the lid and the base. And we can see the uh, sparkles from the explosion whoop, and the fire. And then uh, I just hit home and that brought that barrel back. So now if we take our D series, send it over the edge and have it smack into, 
I, I would love if I could hit both barrels. I don't think I'm going to be able to, though. Oh, wait. Am I going to go right between them? How awful would that be? Oh, we did hit one. Look at that. We just tapped that barrel, and it absolutely ripped our truck to shreds. That is some serious explosive force going on here with the crash hard, ouch, explosive barrels. Oh, man, that is awesome. Holy cow. Now, uh, what happens if we, we still have a barrel we didn't explode, so I say we spawn in a bolide, throw on the police lights. Yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, listen to the whine of that 80s engine goodness. Alright, uh, I can't remember where the barrel is actually. Oh, wait, here we go. Oh my gosh! Oh, I slowed it down <laughs> right, at, right at the wrong moment. But, I mean, could it really be wrong when you hit a barrel? Look at that. Tumbling through the air as we come down for a ow, very hard landing. I'm not sure what's going on with the tire. As we come to a skidding halt. All right. Ooh, let's reset the barrels. Oh, man. All right. Let's take this down here. Drive along. All right, let's slow this down. There we go. I, I just want to see exactly what happens when we hit the barrel with the vehicle. And I'm a little off. I'm trying to steer, but of course, you know, being in this slow motion, the steering's just, it, it, there's no way it can react. Oh, this is great. Slam into the barrel. The barrel busts apart. Look, it just rips the car to shreds. Now we finally get the sparks and the explosive fireballs as the bolide just continues to fly through the air. Look at that. That is some serious destruction. Oh, up over the 100 sign. We're over the 200 sign. Oh, we can hit the 300 sign. Look at that. Ugh. <laughs> That'll put an immediate stop to your day. Oh, hey. But we did end up upright. And so we can just coast, well, kind of coast our way down the hill. Are we going to even make it to the sand? I don't, I don't think we are. No, we didn't even make it to 500. What a mess. Oh, man, I have to tell you, this mod is fantastic. Let's uh, swap out vehicles here. What about a jacked up 4x4 here? How about the Super Pig? We'll get that spawned in here, and then uh, let's get our barrels back. And actually, while I'm at it, uh, let's go ahead and come down here. And you can see there are different barrels to choose from. Each one has a description of what's in it and also how volatile it is. I, I guess that's kind of a relative thing, though. Uh, we'll just take the default red one here. There we go. So now we got some red and blue barrels. Not quite sure what this is going to do. Especially since this vehicle rides up pretty high. I mean, I'm assuming the uh, transfer cases are going to hit the barrel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All it did was catch it on fire. That didn't really do a whole lot. Whoops. Oh, as a matter of fact, we are still drivable at hundreds of miles an hour. We put on the brakes. Oh, that's one of the problems with the Super Pig. If you slam on the brakes when you're going forward, you tumble because uh, just between the the power of the brakes, the power of the engine, the momentum that you got going on, you just roll end over end. Alright, here we go. Blue barrel. Boom! Oh! Uh, 
I'm not even sure that did damage at all. Yeah, I did way more damage landing and blowing my tires than I did. Come on. Ah, I was hoping we could land upright. Wait, there we go. Look at that. Let's back up here. Yeah, we got this. We, we did all right. So those two barrels, not really as spectacular as the ones that we've seen. So, all right. What if I grab some other barrels here? And we'll just replace this one. And then we've got, uh, let me see, which one haven't we done yet? The black one? Yeah. So we'll spawn that one in. There we go. A couple more barrels. We'll just keep the same super pig. What would be awesome is if I could line up my tires so that each tire hits a barrel. That'd be awesome. I, I don't anticipate that happening, and frankly, you really shouldn't either. If you've been watching the channel, you know that most of the things I plan don't really go the way I plan them. But that's all part of the fun. Ah, uh, nope. Just hit the gray barrel, which, again, didn't really seem to do much of anything here. Oh. Oh, landed on the front end. Oh. Wait, wait, come on. Come on, fix yourself, man. There you go, write yourself up. There we go. Oh, nope. You're going to go tumbling. Splash into the water. Ah, oh, man. All right. Huh. Well, let's, uh, let's see what else we can do here. I think I want to grab this and we can just clone this. Uh, I'm just holding the shift key and dragging to the right. Unfortunately though, it clones it up in the air. So now I have to be careful that when I, yeah, reset the physics, it doesn't explode. Guess what? It explodes. Now, can I just, uh, can I use the insert reset? That doesn't seem to be working. And honestly, I'm not sure I can do that while the physics are frozen. That does not seem to be doing anything. Let me try it this way. There you are. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure out this game eventually. I've only been playing it for like, I don't know, five years. All right. Let's grab some yellow barrels because they are truly the most volatile. Whoa. All right. Those dudes are sliding toward the edge of the ramp and that would not be good so we'll copy this oops that's not quite what I had in mind all right we'll copy that one all right that gives us five barrels I think that's good now I'm gonna hold shift and and select each of the barrels and then that way I can well that's not working for me uh, I can grab all of them and move them all at the same time. Now this could get ugly <clears throat> because when I release physics, they're probably going to explode. I'll tell you what I'm going to do though. Um, if I tab to cycle between each one and hit control home, that will set them home. And that way, even when I release physics and they blow up, that's okay. I can just tell them, <laughs> Gosh, uh, I can just do uh, hit the home key. And there we go. Everybody's reset. Okay. Time to grab a new vehicle here. Uh, ooh, let's do the Piccolina Baja. Yeah, let's do the Baja. What I'm hoping is that when the Piccolina hits the barrel, um, or really more the after effect, is that because it's round and that's how the... Uh, roll bars are that we'll, we'll kind of do a really cool tumbling thing. I don't know what's going to happen when we hit these. Oh. Whoa. Okay, that is awesome. Sending the Piccolina sky high. Oh, landing on the front end. We are tumbling, rolling. The engine is actually still working. What the... <laughs> get this little uh what a crazy little compact car we've made out of a 
super subcompact car. What the heck is that about? Oh my gosh, absolutely just destroyed the frame, bent it under itself. How crazy is that? All right, here we go. Try not to over rev the engine, but that's hard to do in this vehicle, especially on this map. All right, here we go. Now, I'm going to pause physics here and go into free cam. And I'm just going to put this in a position. All right, ho hopefully this will show us what happens when the uh, Piccolina hits the barrels. I have no idea where the car is. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, wow. Look at that sending it. I mean, for all intents and purposes, straight up in the air. The only reason why it didn't go perfectly straight up, of course, is the forward momentum it already had. But, oh, look at that. Massive explosion. Massive destruction on the Piccolina as it is flying through the air. That is... Ah, oh, that's that's wonderful. That This is why BeamNG is such a cool game because you can do all kinds of crazy things whether you're, you know, putting somebody else's mods into the game and seeing what you can do with them or you know coming up with your own mods. Ah. Uh, and then just watching the results of putting various pieces and parts together. I, it's just insane. It's it's absolutely insane. There's there's not really another word for it. Uh, all right, I have an idea. I am going to jump out and find this other mod. It is. Uh, let's see. It's the indestructible mod. What is that called? Oh wait wait wait. Oh my stupid scroll wheel. All right, the DM indestructible. I'm going to copy that back up into my BeamNG mods folder. All right. There we go. Um, okay, I can't see the menu. What, what am I doing wrong? Uh, th this, is, this is why we edit. <laughs> okay. Changing full screen isn't happening. What? Helping? What? Oh my gosh, I I'm a doof. <laughs> I had hidden the UI. You can hit Alt-U and it will hide the interface. Yeah, that's pretty much what I did. All right. Let's get everybody reset. Yoy. And now we're going to go into additional modification and make this Piccolina indestructible. So, what happens when we take a Piccolina, make it indestructible, and now run it into the highly explosive barrels? Let's uh, find out. A one. Oh, I was gonna, guess I'll slow things down so my one, two, three isn't going to quite uh, be where I was hoping it was going to be. But let's just see what happens. As we get closer to the barrels, what do you think? Do you think the indestructible mod is going to be able to keep this vehicle together? Or do you think it's going to break the physics? Oh! We still send the Piccolina flying high into the sky, but check it out. It is actually still intact. I mean, we didn't even lose a headlight, which is very common with the indestructible mod. Well, okay, well, we, we broke physics. So, it worked and didn't work all at the same time. <laughs> That's, which is honestly par for the course when it comes to the uh, uh, indestructible mod. So, what if we take a T-Series? Can we do the Destroyer? I can't remember if the Destroyer was out at the time the indestructible mod was made, but... We know the T-Series is. So let's reset all the barrels. There we go. So now we have the T-Series with the Ram Plow. And we're going to enable the Nitros just because we can. 
although they're not really going to engage, but that's okay. We are indestructible, heading for the five barrels of death. Oh, massive explosion, but look at that. No damage whatsoever to the T-Series truck. That is fantastic. Oops. Nope, everything's still good so far. As we roll down the hill. Oh! Man. Uh-oh. Oh, you see the, I don't know if you can tell or not, the exhaust pipe on the passenger side is now facing the wrong direction. It is not broken. It's just turned the wrong way. And one thing about the indestructible mod is that, like, your vehicle weighs, like, nothing. Look at that. It's just bouncing around like it's made of rubber. But for all intents and purposes, that truck looks fantastic. So let's see what happens if we reset everything. And now we turn off the indestructible mod. Put it back to its regularly scheduled program. Send the T-Series down the car jump arena map. Hurtling toward the barrels. And let's see what these do to the T-Series. I want to get a better view of this. Um, not quite straight on. If we go over here by the lights. Yeah. All right. And then uh, I'll slow this down because I want to see. Oh, look at that. Just utter destruction bursting through. Oh, yeah. We've definitely got some damage here. Look at this. Pieces and parts of the T-Series flying. I'll tell you what, though. Nowhere near as much damage as was done to the D-Series pickup. I mean, it's definitely damaged, don't get me wrong, but, yeah. Definitely not as bad as we have seen in some of the other vehicles. Oh, and we slam into the post, which is always a good way to end things here on Crash, on Car Jump Arena, rather. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Uh, let's see. I want to change vehicles. Um, oh, 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 I got to do the ambulance. Anytime I'm blowing stuff up, I love blowing up the ambulance. There's probably something wrong with me for that, but it's okay. It's all part of the scientific experimentation that is going on here in Beam NG Drive. We're using ambulances against highly explosive barrels. There's a white paper coming out next week. I don't know. <laughs> oh, look at that. Absolutely ripping the ambulance to shreds. The gurney is still inside the ambulance. And it is still in the correct position. I'm just saying we exploded and still managed to deliver the patient. Oops. Well, oh, we broke physics. Man, okay. The game definitely has issues with the exploding barrels and uh, the after effects, really. Because, I mean, it had already done everything. I was just getting into the water. So, not quite sure what's going on with that. But, uh, man, I just absolutely love this. We're going to try this again. And this time, I'm going to slow things down so that we can take a slow motion, close look at the utter destruction that happens with the crash hard explosive barrels. Ah, man, that is so cool. That is so much fun. Oh, that is so fun. Oh, we land hard, skidding down. It's eventually coming to rest in the sand no in between the pool and the sand so there you go hey thank you so much for watching got any questions problems suggestions horror stories feel free to leave those down in the comment section below special thanks to hero of god gamer gall and los wilco for supporting me on patreon we will see you next time on beam ng drive have a great day